ECDL Advanced PowerPoint Lesson 8 using a template. Once a template has been saved, it can be used to set the appearance of future presentations. New presentations can be started with the design template or existing slides can be converted. We're going to start with a brand new PowerPoint presentation, so if we go File New, This time, if we click over to Personal from the area under Suggested Searches, as the example template created in the last lesson was saved in the Custom Office Templates folder, it can now be accessed. Notice that Example 2, which we saved elsewhere, is not available. Double-clicking on the template will create a new presentation based on the example template. On the blank title slide, enter example as the title text and your organization as the subtitle text. Click the arrow just underneath the new slide button and we want to add a slide with the title and content layout. That's this one here. Click to add a title of contents and then add two bulleted text lines. The first one is going to be introduction and the second one history. Notice that all of the features defined when creating the template are being applied here. For example, the background, the title style, the bullet style with those arrows we created in the last lesson, line spacing, which was double line spacing, and also the logo image, the Safari picture. OK, let's close this new presentation without saving. And we're now going to open the presentation assessment from the supplied data files. OK. To apply the layout and colours of the template, select the Design tab. And if we drop down on the More arrow from the Themes group, that's this button here, Click Browse for Themes, at which point the Choose Theme or Themed Document dialog box is displayed. Let's locate the Custom Office Templates folder in the list. This will be within Documents, so click on Documents, and within here we've got Custom Office Templates. Within there we can locate the Example Template. Select it and then apply. OK, now as we can see on the screen all features of the layout are applied to all of the slides in the presentation. Let's look at slide 2 and we can see that all of the features defined when we created the template are being applied. The background, the title style, the bullet style, the line spacing and of course the logo image. As an aside, because the template is applied after the slides have been created, there may be some conflict. So, for example, I can see a conflict on slide 4. Let's have a look at it. And what we'll find is there's another image in front of the picture of the Safari. So, as a result, it's usually better to start with the desired design and then compose the slide contents to fit. If we wish to delete a template, I'll just show how to do that now. I'm going to close this without saving, and I'm going to open the presentation assessment again. If we then go for the More button from the Themes group, again go Browse for Themes, and this time all I need to do is right-click on the example and then press Delete. OK, and now it's no longer there.
press cancel to close the dialog box and then finally close the presentation without saving. Okay, look forward to seeing you next time when we're going to be looking at how to insert sections of text. Okay, see you then.